Today is March 7th. Pastor is saying to us, understand the truth behind his instructions. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. It's important that you understand the spirituality of divine instructions. Divine instructions are for your life. So always take them seriously. A lack of understanding of spiritual truth and yielding to a fit of anger led to Moses' grievous mistake that caused him leading the children of Israel into the promised land. In Numbers chapter 20, verse 8, God instructed Moses to speak to the rock to bring forth water for the children of Israel to drink. But when Moses got to the rock, instead of talking to the rock as God had said, he struck the rock with his rod. Water came out all right, but God was displeased with him. A previous instruction to Moses in Exodus chapter 17 verse 6 was for him to strike the rock for it to bring forth water, which he did and water came out. But this time, the rock wasn't to be smitten a second time because that rock was Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Christ was to be smitten only once. After that, you talk to him for whatever you want. Even though Moses acted in disobedience by striking the rock twice, water still came out. But it didn't produce the result God wanted. That tells us something. It's not about the result you want. It's about what's right in the sight of God. Is the Father pleased? These things we read in the scriptures are for our learning. Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Practice spiritual understanding, spiritual wisdom, and walking in the Spirit. That's your call. Only if we live this way can we please the Lord in all things. Understand the truth behind his instructions and do them. Hallelujah. Please say this confession with me. I'm filled with the knowledge of God's will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Walking worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Fruitful in every good work. And increasing in the knowledge of God. Every time, in every place, and in every situation, divine wisdom is at work in me. To the glory and praise of the Father. Amen. For further study, please read Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 2, and Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 to 10. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Mark chapter 12, verses 18 to 44. And Numbers chapters 20 to 21. For the two year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 to 11, and Exodus chapter 16.